This is the introduction to the um, Yaya TV player app, which you see the icon down there in the lower right, and the first time use. So what I'm going to do is tap that, start up the Yaya player, and there you see the first time through, it asks for a login, there's nobody logged in, and I'm going to skip over the login, that's a pretty well-known process, and I'll pick it up again once I'm logged in. So there you can see uh, what I did is I logged in using sharing the user credentials that the grandkids were using to create video greetings in the Yaya Creator app. So we're using shared credentials. I've logged in. And here you can see the first time it focuses on how to connect to the TV. That little icon in the upper right is the connection to the, the TV. My, my TV's not even turned on. I don't have to worry about the remote or anything like that. The app handles everything. So I'm going to click the OK. And there in the upper right, I'm going to click that icon to connect to the TV. And there the dialogue, um, that's the name of my, my TV, Yaya. Ya. So I'm going to click there. And what that'll do is that'll start up the TV. It'll automatically, it does the functions of the remote. It connects to the right input source. And I should be ready to play. So to start play now, the easy thing to do for automatic playback of the entire inbox is I'm just going to tap the top item. That brings up a player on that item. And when I hit play, I'm actually going to initiate a playlist of like 20 items that will play consecutively. So there, I tapped on play, and it's starting. I think you can hear my TV in the background. So that's, that's playing consecutively, and I'm going to switch modes. I'm going to back out of this screen. And I'm going to tap the upper right, the control bar for the queue. And there you can see that's a picture of the Yaya, -ya, the playlist queue. So that's everything that's been queued up to play. And I don't know, it's queued up about 20 items that will all play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the one I'm going to I'm going to pause this, um, and I'm going to get out of the queue view in the upper left that arrow. So that that takes me back to the IA player, and as a last step in the upper right, I'm going to disconnect from the TV using the um, uh, the Yaya or the Chromecast Connect icon. That's the one in the middle on the upper right. That brings up the dialog to stop casting. I tapped on the stop casting. And that's it. So to review, new user uh, logged in to the Yaya Player app, sharing credentials that were used by the grandkids over in the Yaya Creator app. And I used the Chromecast icon in the upper right. I connected to the TV. Didn't have to worry about the remote. Uh, the app will turn on the TV select the correct input source and then I just hit play on on the first item in the video list I tapped play started the player and automatically